right, guys, Dizzle is back with another video for you. We are in Lion Knight's Castle kit still. And uh, Dizzle's calling this one uh, Lion Knight's, uh, was it Lodge? Jumbo Lodge, I think this is. Yep. <laughs> uh, I'm going to walk you around this. And then we come around. You can see, well, obviously you can see by the thumbnail. I'm going to call these enhancements, guys. I really like this. Again, this, uh, I think this kit can be very useful. Obviously here, right? We got a before on the left, after on the right. I think this was pretty cool. I did use this. We're over here by Dizzle's uh, log cabin. I did use this one myself. And honestly, I'm probably going to put this one in and on our Frostland Village that we got going on over there. I think this is going to go well over there. So I walked around and I made whatever changes I thought were better. I wanted this to come out. It should be on top of that. And I was able to get it on there. The roof matched up on this side, but the roof did not match up on this side because of the valley. I think I would have to bump it out two more in order to get that completely to work on top of that. So that might be something that I work on when we move that over to our Frostland Village. I'll walk you around. You're going to see some things and we'll go over them. I think this here, hang on a second. Let's go into supports. I think this needs to be thickened up. It is over here underneath the porch, but for some reason, the build does not, uh, the blueprint does not do that. But we're going to do it now. I think it needs it. Won't work. I ain't gonna lie, guys. Dizzle is... If, you, if, if I seem quiet, I am a little tired. Um, I've been busy with this. This isn't survival, so we're back in survival. Dizzle's been farming, gathering material when needed. Um, I also put the lip on there to break up the flatness of it. And I, that's kind of why I did over here and I brought in like a lattice. You know that some of these these uh, t type of structures would have this lattice possibly with vines growing up it? Grow up, growing up it? But obviously we have no vines, but I put that in anyways. Oh man, it's going to be hard for me to talk, guys. <laughs> uh, but I am still really liking this kit. I think there's a lot of potential. Again, you know. And am I going to do this with every log cabin build, guys? I have no idea. But I think it looks better. It have definitely has that, uh, I don't know, for me, like a little cottage feel to it. And this was the look I was going for again. I said it before in the last video, all along over in our Frostland Valley. Let's go inside, because I think it's this is so much brighter in here. Put the archway in. Again, I try to put as much as I thought would be appropriate. Obviously, if you're going to do this, you know, if you put stuff here, the window's going to get blocked. That's the downside. But depending on how you want to how you wanted to utilize the space, guys, uh, that could stay in. Take you up top. I even changed the floor up here. This is the noble floor upsta upstairs. I think it looks really nice. This upstairs area looks really, really good. I didn't change the railing yet. That's the only thing I didn't do. <laughs> oh, I didn't change that either. That has to be a uh, half wall. Again, I... Try my best to go through all of this, guys, and then fit what I could. That one needs to come out, too. I think I did it on the other one over there. I just didn't do it here. And that one's built a little bit different on the other side. I built three of these. Again, let's go look on the inside, the difference since the daylight is out. Oh, the sun's about to set already. We might have to wait for fresh daylight, guys, to finish this. 
So if you like that wood feel, the wood, the log cabin, you know, this, this is probably for you then, right? But if you wanted to take your build, guys, and again, take this blueprint. That's what Dizzle did too. The reason why he did this was, I know some people are like, uh, they comment on my videos sometimes. They're like, oh, I can't build like that. You know, this is just taking that blueprint and enhancing it, guys, with the new kit. That's all Dizzle did. I messed around with certain pieces like this door originally that I had a smaller door, but I'm like, you know what? I like the way that opened up. So I got it on both sides. And then this one is completely the noble all the way around. I didn't do any of the castle on the bottom. I think I like that one better. I think with this one, you need some stuff to break it up. It's getting a little too busy, in my opinion. Oh, a little bit of lag there. I have been lagging over here a little bit. I'm surprised I was able to put all this up, though, uh, close to our lot. Guys, look at, look at all the trees. They're gone. And I've lost so many trees over here from lightning. It's crazy. You remember that build when we first started posting videos? Almost every tree is gone. That's like the last one. I didn't decorate the inside. Back to this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't decorate the inside of this, though. I just wanted to do the out. Wanted to do the outside so you could see. And I put the double, double dark the umber here so you can kind of see, like breaking it up. Again, it's your choice. As well as here, you can put the castle corner or the knight's corner piece. I just broke, I like the umber look, guys. You know me already, if you've been following my videos for a while. And then we got the Dizzle storage shed. You, sh you saw the short one, but I fixed it a little bit over there, or over here. Over there, I, I can't remember exactly what I had, but I put the end, the gable on the end on each side. I think that's a better look. And then here's the taller version. We can actually go one more and put another chest up there. There's the back. And this is that archway that's that's in the workshop kit. Uh, let's see. That is this right here. In the in this blueprint right here, I think it is. Where is it? This one right here. See it on the right side. So I'm bringing that in that element. Guys, I have gone through so much food over here, building, <laughs> farming. I want to wait for a fresh daylight, guys, and then uh, we'll go over this some more. Be right back. All right, we're back. This will have to grab some food because uh, I was running out. But I wanted to show you, too. Look, there's been a brute over here as well, though. But this is how it looked on the right. <laughs> That's how it look, used to look on the left. That's how many trees we have lost between the brute and a lot of lightning. And over here, you guys remember this. Look at this. This is 100% lightning. It's just gone. So this village that we built, the Dizzle built a long time ago because of the view and trees. <laughs> no more. And I have no intent, in case you're wondering, I have no intent of changing this over there. This is staying log cabin. That's staying true to me. We are not switching that. But I wanted to show you too, because I forgot looking looking at that. And I've given you a view again of the two. The difference in them. On this one, I've been asking for half wall windows. You guys know that for a while. So I put a few in on this side, which I like better. But I put them in all the way across. From the outside, it's, it's kind of like, eh. On the inside, it's actually kind of nice. I didn't decorate them on the inside, or uh, didn't change out the stuff on the inside, guys. But you can see, it's bringing in a lot more light. You know, the downside is, and you're, you're taking up all your space then for where you put your machines or storage. You know, that's the downside of it. Unless you wanted to do that and just use this side for it, you can do that. But I, f I forgot to show you that. Again, the, the mini dizzle uh, storage shed. I went with the uh, Beachside Boulevard white slats in between. And then over here is the noble. I like this orange, brown, and white look, guys, with the blue, too. 
I don't know. I just really like it. I think this is a nice looking kit. And then just to, uh, again, I always try to come up with a, a fire pit. You know that guys. This is that that one right here. And then this is this version. This is off. I realized that afterwards because I had you have to raise it. I'm going with this is another Dizzle storage shed using the uh, nightly bottom, which I like this one. I like this one a lot. Um, I just need to fix it. It's off centered. But that one looks really good. The roof is the same as that one. It's just the bottom's different. And you could fit um, four of those or five of the Grand. Because I think we have the Grand already set up in the in our Frostland village. And then we have the uh, the mini like the mini lodges that we got over there. Dizzle came up with the mini. Um, I don't even know what you would call these yet, guys. <laughs> we have to come up with names for them, but. Again, I like the ornate one. I think that one looks really nice. I decorated the inside a little bit. I don't want to sleep there because if I die, it's going to make me come back here and I'm already assigned over there. And then here's this one. The floors are different. The floors are based off the, uh, the knightly and this is the noble. The blue bed looks really good with this one. But I thought I would put the red bed in. Let's see, am I missing anything? Uh, the lattice again over here. This one was really busy. This was hurting my eyes, to be honest, with this particular one. Sometimes I like it. It grows on me. Sometimes it doesn't. I wish... I think I would like it more of these slats, or at least some of these were bumping out to give it some texture, the brick some texture. I think that would look really cool. I think the downside to that, though, is I ran into issues over here because... The uh, nightly walls has these that bump out, and you can't put anything up against it. So I actually, there was a larger window here. I think it's the one. Yeah, it was this one here. See that right there? That piece? That little nub was getting in the way of other stuff I wanted to do. And again, I put the lip across back here. I don't know if I said that. To give it that, uh, that extra ledge, like how you have it here. That's what's going on with that there. Just some some type of continuation. But again, it was just taking this, guys. I built this first. I'm like, all right. Then I built it again. Then I just started changing things out. Like, let's get to work. As Dizzle says, fresh daylight. Grab your cup of coffee and let's go. That's what I did. I'm trying to come up with a wall. It's okay. I think it, I'm just, I'm really a big fan of my fence over there. <laughs> I did have it in over here. But again, I mean, you can kind of see like a little village is starting to come into play here with what we got going on, right? With with the blueprint build, um, with the new fascia to it, I guess what you want to call it. And then starting to build these little, like Dizzle likes these little villages, these little village uh, huts. I think out of the storage sheds, I like the larger one and that one. I might build that one back over at our, our Frostland base. See if I can. Those things are sticking out kind of far, though. I don't know if I have the room to do that. Actually, I won't be able to do it in the back because it's coming off the fence. So no, it's a no go. We have to stay with this one. But there you go, guys. Let me know your thoughts. Like I said, Dizzle was uh, just experimenting right now, guys, with these pieces. I think out of the two, out of Beachside and this one. Um, Lion's Knight, Knight's Castle. This is the one I was looking forward to the most. And I know this one is <laughs> probably because of the price. People are disliking it, but. Again, it's fair. Dizzle, Dizzle said in the beginning, you know, you don't have the money. I'm not going to suggest anyone get any of these kits, but Dizzle could. And here you go. And I'm bringing it for you guys. So you don't have to. <laughs> and it's down the road if you do. Here's some stuff for you to build, all right? Dizzle, we'll catch you on the next one.